Well, hello guys, you join me taking my seat out again. Taking my seat out because I let Oliver remove some wires. However, what he's done is he's removed a lot of wires that were needed. Number down to him. And thus means. That's the meter in it. Thus means now my gearbox doesn't work at all. So I'm just in the process of removing my seat so I can now actually get to everything. Thus be in many different ways. But it's nice having a proper span set, let's put it that way. So yeah, Oliver removed, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, he removed this cable here, which is cable, for the wiring harness, it's cable X25A7, for the ZF gearbox in it, as you see he's cut it, and blown the computer, we're hoping he's just blown the fuses, I can't tell until I get actually in there. So I'm just taking out this bolt here with some degrees of intelligence. I've already taken out the rear two before I started filming. I want the multicoloured socket set, so if anyone's watching and fancies sending me the Draper multicoloured socket set as a donation, then it'll be so welcome. Unfortunately, I've already scuffed these because of the chrome paint that's on them. But no one can ever nick your tools. And when this goes back on, a shorter bolt's going on. So, what I'm doing now is I'm just removing the runners just so the seat's out of the way because we're part of the bus. I can't actually remove the entire seat because I can't get to underneath. And I can't move the bus because it won't take power. Because the gearbox computer is completely shot at the moment. But it's in the cabinet which is behind the seat, which you should just be able to see. Now I removed some of the screws to take the computer out and the connector, so I can probe the connector to see if there's power going to the connector or not. However, I can't get in there properly because the seat's in the fucking way. So, the seat's coming out. Same with this one. Wedge that in place. Any bolt doesn't come undone. I've got a big ass crowbar now to uh, power bar to help it on its way. But obviously it's very cramped in here, so I'll show you what I can. The battery on the camera is dying, which is why it needs to be plugged in, which I just remembered I haven't just plugged you back in. So I'll be doing that in half a second. Do it now actually. It's not exactly too much better, but it's better than doing it in my work jacket. So, I don't need this one for that one. It's actually coming undone. The right size bolt for the hole. Right, so that's all them out. So now, in theory, the seat should lift down. Yes, the seat is very heavy. Very heavy. So this is the gearbox computer, this I've worked out has no power to it whatsoever, it is dead. We can tell that because when you try and start the bus out of gear, in gear, it won't start. So it knows the position of the gear selector. However, 
this also controls the retarder and when you go from neutral uh, from drive into neutral and you're trying to start the bus all the retarder relays click in and power up fire up they're not doing that so this computer has no power to it at the moment unfortunately so we can take it out and we can have a look at the connector properly just find out what he's done and hopefully fingers crossed the power the computer is fine and it's just the fuse is blown up hopefully but there should be another screw somewhere yes there is oh it's not coming off is it No, but never mind. There's no fuse in there. I don't think. No. So now, this this is the main heart of the computer. We know this is running. We know this is running because this is the main heart. And this is the heart that does the computer side of things. So we know that's running fine. So now there's the massive gear selector. Zoom in, red is power. I don't know what pin. Right, I've traced a few things back. I just there's one other wiring change we made, which I've just I've just gone and undone that now. This only has one volt running through it, which would add up. Um I don't know where the green wire goes to, so I'm just gonna plug this back in, try again. I'm failing that then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the electric cupboard and just make sure that all the fuses are intact and working. So here we go for the inaugural struggle to plug this in challenge. Apparently it's easier to get it in than it was to get it out but never mind. Okay so ignition is on so we'll just cycle that off. Cycle it back on. Now the gear selector is up on the dashboard here. We can bring it into just into view here. So we are actually in neutral. So if we do it into R, we should fire up. It still doesn't want to go. the electric cupboard which is going to be a whole fun of all games and then go from there all right guys i fixed the issue i sent a video to oliver i'll just queue in right well i've been through all the fuses i've still got ice falling i now have as of light more importantly though if i lean because i have to take the fucking seat out Alright. And then do that. We now have drive again. It's got to like try and move forward here, haven't we? You've just blown the fuse out. You're a very lucky man. You have no idea how much a HP a ZF HP five hundred is. Very lucky man. But one of the more important things is the things that we, I fixed today is people know I had an issue on this bus with the hazard lights not working so I had to use the emergency alarm. Well, good news is now hazard lights work again. So I've got all my power back, computer's back running. Oh good, it was just a blow for you. Oliver can stop shitting himself now. So I'm going to put the bus back together and I'll just, I've just got a few little bits to do and then I'll film putting the seat back in and then we're all good. Right, time to put the bus back together. Just turn that down so I can try and not get a copyright strike. <laughs> I'm 
restless, so give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Just jump around and show them how I move
thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time for more troubleshooting idiots bye